Welcome to the Cryptonomatron. Thanks for joining me today. This is part three of the coins I think could blow up in 2018. But if this is your first time here and you want to know more about ICOs, cryptocurrencies, blockchain and related stuff, click on that subscribe button and click on that bell notification icon and you'll get notified as soon as I put up new content and as soon as I go live. Okay, thanks for doing that. Let's take a look at third coin I think will blow up in 2018 and it's Origami Network. So what is Origami Network? Well, it's a protocol for building decentralized marketplaces using the Ethereum blockchain. And uh, it solves several problems that are related to online marketplace development and maintenance, including escrow payments and trusted reviews. So they had their token sale not so long ago. It's literally just gone on coin market cap, and I had to refilm part of this video because of that. Uh, but it's okay, I enjoy doing that. So let's take a further look at what it does and um, some of the special features that it's got. So this is an all-in-one platform um, for businesses to create online marketplaces based on obviously decentralized blockchain technology. Everybody's wanting to do that at the moment. They provide open source API as well uh, with an admin portal for sellers and an admin portal for operators. And already six companies in Europe are using this origami marketplace. So they've already got customers. Now, what is the difference between the origami network and traditional platforms such as Amazon or Airbnb? Well, if you can see the slide behind me, obviously it's a decentralized um, a model. So it's supported by the community, by the users. Payments are facilitated by cryptocurrencies um, and origami payment. Lower fees, of course. And uh, you know, payments are instant, don't require any intermediary like a bank or anything like that. Uh, validation is uh, done by the network, obviously that prevents security problems. Personal information is not required to use it. Smart contracts are obviously automated and uh, uh, more secure as well. You can't, uh, you, you, you can't break them. And Origami has a review system that decentralizes the review management and improves the reputation scores as a result. Uh, because at the moment, you know, it's very easy for these people on um, TripAdvisor, uh, businesses on TripAdvisor, sorry, uh, businesses on Airbnb, Amazon, etc., to fake reviews, delete negative reviews, post negative reviews on competitors and stuff like that. So it can be manipulated. Using a decentralized management system, that means that's uh, eliminated. So they're going to supply modular software. It will have an easy to use back office for both the vendors and the operators to use. It will be compatible with most open source uh, cart system solutions like Magento, etc. It will integrate with their uh, payment system and also the review system. It's based on APIs and high performances with read cache system and asynchronous write operations as well will ensure um, it's quite quick and easy to use. So. Um, it will be the one-stop shop for uh, any business looking to set up a platform for buying and selling goods and services online. As I mentioned, they have six customers already. Uh, they've got their online marketplaces up and running. And there are more coming. And uh, they are also backed by six partners. Uh, two of those who are interesting. One of them, CIC, is the fourth largest bank in France. The other one that I wanted to point out is BPI France, and they're a French investment bank. So they wouldn't have um, got involved with this project if it didn't at least have some, uh, some potential. So the three co-founders are Julien, Vincent, and Alexandre, I think I pronounced that uh, very well in, Fran in French. <laughs> it's been a while. <laughs> So, uh, sorry to my French friends. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> my French is shocking. <laughs> okay, we'll try that again. Uh, Julien, Vincent, Alexandre are the uh, co founders, and uh, Julien is the CEO. Uh, Vincent, the CTO, and Alexandra, the CMO, they are all interested in blockchain. I've had a look through their um, respective profiles, not much information there, but uh, they do have experience of setting up a previous uh, um, startup incubating business, which uh, looks interesting. Unfortunately, my French isn't as good as it used to be, so uh, I can't really go for a deep dive into those companies because all the information is in French. 
As you can see from the website, they've also got uh, different positions filled, account manager, sales and marketing, full stack developer, and a couple of back-end blockchain developers. They're also hiring more staff as well. Uh, so um, yeah, if you're uh, interested in working with the project, I'd contact them. So where are they going with this? Well, the roadmap is being updated at the moment, so it's hard to really see where they're exactly at and where they're gonna go. Uh, but they just have uh, implemented the centralized review system into the origami marketplace. Obviously, it will be decentralized eventually, um, you know, once they develop it in the future. The new detailed roadmap is coming. We just need to be patient. The reason there's been a slight delay is because of the bear market. When they raised, this is quite a small project, and when they raised the Ethereum, uh, they thought it was going to be worth a lot more than it actually is at the moment or was a few weeks ago. It's starting to recover now, so I guess we'll see more updates as they um, uh, meet their uh, financial targets as Ethereum grows in value. Now, um, they are uh, looking at getting on more exchanges. They are looking at recruiting more customers. Their focus is on, on actually marketing and getting the customers on board rather than um, development at this stage. But once they get the funds that they require, development will ramp up again. So the token is going to be used for payment on merchant websites. And if you use the token rather than paying in fiat or Ethereum, Bitcoin and the other available cryptocurrencies, you'll get next to zero fees. There's also going to be a cashback system as well for uh, people that hold ORI, uh, the token of the Origami Network. And uh, you can also participate in the project decisions. There will be votes on you know, the company direction, also what to implement. And it will also eventually be usable on a large set of marketplaces. So the more people that adopt, or more companies that adopt the uh, Origami Network as their um, marketplace platform of choice, then the more opportunities to spend the ORI token. It's just hit coin market cap, and of course that's caused it to pump a little bit. It's actually doubled in price since uh, yesterday. Uh, it was um, just a whisker um, over uh, six thousand satoshis. I think yesterday, and it's now almost twelve thousand satoshi. One dollar eleven total supply, five point five million ori, and the circulating supply is exactly the same. I've had confirmation from the team there, and that gives this a market cap of approximately six point one three million dollars. So, still plenty of opportunity for growth here, indeed. And um, also, the volume has increased markedly as well, up to five hundred and thirty-three. Uh, ether per uh, the last 24 hours and it's only available on one exchange at the moment and that's IDEX. So we've had a quick look through it. So what do I like about Origami? Well the first thing is it's backed by two banks. One of them is the fourth biggest bank in France. I think that's important they have that support there. The second thing I like is it could sell the blockchain concept to online retailers, which is a massive market. Um, and I don't think a lot of online retailers have even sat down and thought about what the blockchain or decentralization can do for their business. They've got a working product already. They have existing customers already using it. So, you know, that will hopefully entice other customers to jump on board as well. Plus, you can see a demonstration. You can see how it works, see whether you like it or not. And that's um, going to be very important for people to uh, jump on the back of this project. Because if, you, if they didn't have a demo or they didn't have a working product, then, uh, you know, people would be reluctant to... Um, to get on board and I'm not just talking about uh, potential users of the marketplace I'm talking about investors as well this is the all-in-one solution and it can be used with most existing cart services so basically if you use this it's easy and uh, you can integrate it with what you're already familiar with which will again aid with adoption I believe Tokenomics now, low supply, low token price, well it was yesterday, <laughs> and, and uh, low market cap, and it was even lower yesterday, um, you know, makes this an opportunity at this current moment. The team does appear to have startup experience, so that goes some way in, uh, you know, getting this off the ground, getting it, you know, getting it set up, and uh, actually making it a viable business. And the other thing, it's only on IDEX exchange at the moment. So again, uh, back to that opportunity I talked about, uh, this provides an opportunity to get in before it gets too much height, before it goes massive, and before uh, it hits one of the bigger exchanges, uh, you know, like Binance or somewhere like that, where it could do some serious damage. So this project has risks. 
Uh, the first one is the development has actually stalled due to the bear market. Now they um, intended to raise a lot more money. They did not meet the hard cap and uh, yeah, um, they've had to stall and put off some of the development due to not having enough funds. So that's a major concern for me. And as such, the roadmap needs to be updated so we know exactly what's going on, what's going to happen and when it's going to happen as well. And I think success on this project will depend purely and solely on online retailer adoption of the marketplace. If online retailers don't like it or they don't want to switch over from their current providers, then uh, you know, no dice. And centralized competition already is established. They're, we're talking about big businesses here worth billions of dollars. So this is going to be a hard market to crack. But if you can crack it, you know, it's quite, going to be quite lucrative. But it's going to be very difficult because competition is tough in this sector. And it didn't meet the hard cap during the ICO, so why didn't it? Um, you know, you're telling me you're, you've run successful startups before, well why couldn't you meet the hard cap? That's a concern of mine. Uh, the hard cap should have been smashed out the park for this project with no questions asked whatsoever. You know, if, if, and you can't believe it on the bear market either, because if, if you saw a bear market coming, or you were trying to do something in the bear mar bar market, then postponing the ICO would have been a good call. However, what's done is done, but again, not meeting the hard cap is a little bit of a concern for me. An entrepreneur, it's a too often used word in crypto. Everybody's a bloody entrepreneur. Well, are you really? And the team is young and relatively unscathed. And I say this as a concern because they haven't got real hardcore experience of failing being knocked down and getting up again and trying and trying and trying. They're just fresh out of college and university. They're young, so you know what I mean? They, they still need their uh, bottoms powdered. So potential gains? Well, in an ultra bearish market, I think this is not gonna disappear like some of the others. Uh, this has got a fairly um, low circulating supply, low total supply. I think this will survive as long as the devs continue to um, update us and continue to work on the project, I think it will survive. I don't think it's going to see much price action in the, the downward trajectory because it's already, you know, it's already quite low. I'm talking about 80 cents to a dollar is probably where it's going to, it's going to be in an ultra bearish market. Uh, bearish market though, because of the low supply, it's got opportunity to grow even in a, um, a bearish environment because it's got such a, a low supply, it will make it very volatile. Um, in a bullish market, however, I can see this one easily doing a 20x. Again, very, very low market cap of about 6.13 million at the moment. It gives it a lot of potential for growth. And 120, 130 million for this project is easy to achieve. So a 20x easily, in my opinion. Perma bullish market, again, you know, 50x, no problem. I can see this going to 300, 350 million market cap. But again, this will be probably uh, in the longer term because they need to get um, clients, customers to use the marketplace to drive the business on. So that is my third and final coin I think could moon in 2018. Ah, but is it? I've got a surprise for you. Actually, I'm going to do a bonus coin I think could moon in 2018 in the next video because I think this other coin is also a great opportunity um, for you to uh, have a look at. So uh, thanks for watching. If you like the video, click like, click subscribe, join the channel, uh, be part of the community as well. And don't forget to leave a comment below. Um, let me know what you're thinking about this project. Let me know what you think about any of the projects that I review. Um, do you like them? What are your concerns? You know, we're a community. Let's help each other out here, guys. Yeah. So thanks for watching. And I'll see you later on.